You know, they say I was born with this condition. The doctor told my mom, I'm afraid your baby was born with too many feelings. She said she cried even though she didn't know exactly what he meant, except that having a baby with too many feelings sounded hard to protect. When a girl says, kiss me, be careful. She may not know what she's asking. She may not know what she wants. Some girls never do. <laughs> Ask her what she wants. Assure her there are no wrong answers. If she says she needs time, then give her all your clocks. If it's space she wants, construct for a rocket, send her there. Mean what you say. Girls do not like to be lied to. Mean what you say. Kiss her, but do not expect anything above all else. Girls disdain expectations. Do not discard her as just another one, or mistake her as a wonder carved from the skin of the moon. Girls are special, not unique. And all my work is different. Sometimes I talk about gender and sexuality and this idea of home and wonder and magic and science and love and just loss. Just the other day I was invited to read at an elementary school a story I wrote about a little lion cub who got in trouble and was made fun of because of who he loved. At the end of the class I was curious what love meant to them so I asked and six-year-old Nika told me this. She said, if you want to learn to love better, you should start with a friend you hate. Noel said, love is when you tell someone you like their shirt and they wear it every day. Bobby added, love is what's in the room with you at Christmas when you stop opening presents and listen. I think that if we want to make the world a more understanding place, we should stop indoctrinating hate and learn to listen to the wisdom that still comes from those who chew with their baby teeth. I want people to feel something from my work. I want people to have an emotional visceral reaction because that's the purpose of art I think is to leave it with a feeling whether to feel inspired by it, moved by it, emotionally provoked by it. In a bathroom stall I read gender is a universe and we are all stars scribbled on the wall. I was so in awe by this in my home and poured myself a flask. I crawled on top of the roof to ponder what I read. I stared with amazement at the vastness of constellations and just wondered if God has become an angry drunk because of the ignorance and intolerance he sees in us. Are we like to stereotype, criticize, nitpick, compare black and white, judge each other based off of our pants size and hairstyles? I guess that's what every time I go out, go out at night someone always seems to ask me, well, hello, are you a dude or a dyke? So if people uh, listen to my work and are moved or compelled, then that's all that I really ask. <laughs> She's not a book to be read and then placed back on the shelf, a magazine to thumb through a letter to be opened and sent out some 44 cent stamp. She is not an equation. Yes. Do not treat her like a number. Pull her close. Follow her breath. Study it. Just fucking listen. Kiss her like wind. Kiss her like rain. Kiss her like spark. Move slow. Let her hips guide you. Feel her meaningful. Thrust the gentle. Move like you're giving something back instead of taking something from her. Never make her feel like she is an accident. Even when you hate her, do not hate her. Accept her misunderstood. Understand her uncomfortable, adore her whole, respect her being, embrace her difficult, love her awkward, cuddle her complexity, caress her chaos, but never put her on a pedestal. You may like her too much to hurt herself if she were to fall. What I have learned is that when a girl says, kiss me, it's best to be careful because she may not know what she's asking and you may not anticipate the haunting she could bring you when she doesn't want you to anymore. Yeah.